So I'm not sure if today's vlog is gonna be a full vlog or if I'm gonna do part of today and then tomorrow morning on the same vlog. I have my little pamphlets here. We're going to Victoria tomorrow. Um, well, not exactly tomorrow, but our trip starts tomorrow. Today, we have to get ready to go. This time around, I don't really have a solid plan for a trip. I booked our room and paid for our room in Victoria. I'm really excited about that. It's gonna be a really nice room from what I can tell. We got a free night at our, at, for, for hotels.com. If you book 10 nights, you get a free night. We just got up and I think Luna's finally now in play mode. She's kind of slow to wake up in the morning, but she's up now, she's fully awake. So I just put her down there with ready to play. So what I was saying is that we finally are using up our free night that we have through hotels.com. And I think our average for a room was about 120 something dollars. So we got $120 credited to the room. I ended up kind of splurging because we had that extra money. I had a lot of specific needs as far as the hotel room goes. The last time we went to Victoria, which was our first time there, we took our car and it was really 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 expensive it's over a hundred dollars to take your car maybe i can add in the amount right here i'm not sure the exact amount to take your car across the border and then you have to park your car and you have to pay a parking fee usually at the hotel like i'm pretty sure the hotel we stayed at last time had like a 20 dollars parking fee we were only there for like two days we decided this time around since we're not planning on going to the gardens or anything far away victoria is a very walkable city so i wanted to book a hotel that was right on the water right by the parliament building a nice hotel that had enough space this one i think is gonna be really cool but we will find out on thursday today is tuesday by the way i'm going to work tonight and then i'm off for the rest of the week we didn't want to take a full on vacation this summer or this year because next year we're going to disneyland in february i mean you guys probably heard me say that like 10 times but <laughs> It takes two hours to get from here to Port Angeles and an hour and a half to get from Port Angeles to Victoria. And I know that traveling with kids can be hard and I know that it puts strain on them if they're stuck in a confined area for a long time. So I thought, why don't we do one leg of the trip one day and the next leg of the trip the other day. Um, that way it's less hard on them for that long drive. Of course, there's a chance that they just sleep through the drive and then I wouldn't have to worry anyway, but I don't want to risk them having tantrums and stuff. That's kind of my perspective on it. I just checked online and I found a cabin over in Squim. I booked us that, it's $75 and I'm glad because I've actually driven past those cabins a lot. We love that area, so the Olympic Peninsula. So I think it's gonna be good. We're gonna have an extra day on our trip. I think we're gonna have lots of fun because I didn't really plan anything. Like I didn't really plan activities for us to do. I just have rough guidelines for what would be fun to do, basically. But we can just go and have fun without a plan. We could spend three hours packing, probably, even though it's just for, like, two nights. Because we have the kids and all the stuff that they need, I could spend three hours packing. And then on top of that, like, in the middle of it, I would be cleaning and doing laundry and stuff like that. So it could turn into a half-day thing. Which the house is clean right now. Let's hope it can stay that way. So all we really need to do at this point, I have one load of laundry to fold. I have to pack our clothes. Our toiletries are like halfway packed because I kind of don't really unpack them. I just have them to go back and I just have to make sure that everything's in there. And then get all the electronics charged up and ready to go. So yeah, that's all I really have to do today. Luna's birth certificate. I have the application right here. We never picked it up when she was born. And uh... <laughs> We can't get across the border without it. So I was gonna have to go all the way to get it with the kids with me, but Dan is gonna go do that today while he's at work. Like he's gonna find a time that he can go and do it. So he's gonna do that, which is really great. And then I just have to pick up the stroller cause my mom borrowed it when she took them to the zoo. And then that's it. Then we can just like get in the car and go as long as we can finish all that today. So I'm kind of feeling optimistic about this at this point in time. <laughs> Hopefully it stays that way. I'm excited about this trip. I love Victoria. It's such a beautiful city. Um, I'm gonna get a lot of good footage and good 
pictures and there's so much good food there. I love the food in Victoria. So I'm gonna knock the camera over. Speaking of food, I'm gonna make these kids and myself some eggs and we're gonna sit down and eat and then start our day. So it's 11.30 now, we had our relaxing morning, eating breakfast and just hanging out. And I worked on clearing off a lot of space on my memory card because it was full, it's been getting full like every time I pick up the camera, I only have like 15 minutes of space on my card and then I have to empty some of it off. And I don't wanna be going through that during the trip so I just cleared off half of the space. I cleared 50 gigs of memory from the memory card and uh, that took quite a while to do that. Then as well as I finished up a vlog that I just needed to add a photo to, I produced that. Anyways, um, I just wanted to check in because I'm at the beginning stages of packing. So I have the two diaper bags to clean out, a load of laundry to fold, and then I also need to clean out my car. I'm not sure if we're taking my car or Dan's truck, but my car is kind of a mess. It's not too bad, but it needs to be vacuumed out and cleaned out. So I'm gonna try to accomplish those three things before I have to leave. Also need some more coffee because I am feeling drowsy. Okay, so that was easy. I just basically took everything out of this bag and only put a few essential items in there. I'm not even gonna bring it with because it's kind of cumbersome and it's not gonna have enough space for a lot of stuff. So there's not really a point. This is more my bag I like to use when I'm out in town and stuff. And then this is just like a quick, we're going one place kind of bag. And then um, I have a bigger bag. So I think this is the one I'm gonna bring on the trip. That way I have plenty of room to store stuff. I don't want you on here, but I don't want to get zero with Thomas. I don't want to get zero with Th Thomas, okay? Okay, now that one's emptied out. I have three fucking diaper bags. Whatever. I'm like right in the thick of all of this. I feel like there's no end in sight. But at the same time, I think I've reached a halfway point and it's going to start looking better. I'm drinking old coffee because that's how desperate I am. Raise my shadow and I emptied out the car. So this is everything that was in my car. I might have thrown away a few little things, but this is pretty much everything. You've got cores, you've got Rory's jackets, you've got snacks, chips, deodorant old cups, just lots and lots of garbage, just random stuff. I just wanted to show it on camera because seriously. So now I'm going to go through all this stuff and get it cleaned up. Okay, now 
now that that's done, I'm racing the clock. It's 1.20 right now. I have to leave by 2.15 if I'm gonna get the stroller. Good news, I found a battery in my car when I was cleaning it out, it was in my console. That is gonna come in super handy. Yeah, this is gonna make a huge difference. So I am really happy about that. I'm gonna plug it in right now. There we go. So I need to get this car vacuumed out. But what I was gonna say, that's really stressing me out. This back tire is looking really bad. It looks really bad, you guys. Oh yeah, it's like a spider on the wobbly. It's stressing me out, so I'm gonna see if I have time. Cause I don't really wanna drive like this. I'm gonna see if I can use this air compressor by myself and figure it out. I don't know if I can do it or not, but I'll try. But I need to clean up all these pine needles, but everything's clean. No garbage, just need to vacuum it. No toys! It looks amazing! Tomorrow morning when we get up, we're gonna go on a trip. Okay. You take this. This when I then have a spider web. See, it shoot webs. See, watch it goes. They blow your hair. See, you blow your hair. Mm-hmm. You blow your hair. Disneyland. Rory thinks we're going to Disneyland. We're not going to Disneyland. We're going to Canada. We're not going to Canada, Dad. We're not going to Canada. <laughs> so I've been like speed folding these clothes now that I'm done with the car. I got through most of that basket. I have a little pile here of stuff I want to pack. All of this stuff to put away. I know it's kind of dark in here. I apologize. But yeah, I, I just folded all of this stuff. And I'm going to try to put it away really quick. So for Rory, I picked out this shirt, the Save the World one that we bought for his birthday. This uh, Where the Wild Things Are t-shirt. I also got a Where the Wild Things Are t-shirt for Luna. And I think I'm going to bring, if I can reach it, the lemon dress. It's really cute for summer with some blue pants. So that's two days for Luna, two days for Rory. And we're going Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I think I'm good because I'll just pick out their clothes tomorrow in the morning. And then they'll just need like one extra outfit each in case if they get messed up in the pajamas and I'm good. It's like two o'clock now. So I'm going to need to get in the shower soon. But at least I have some outfits picked out. So I won't be like, uh, it's the last minute. Once I get those packed up, all I'm gonna need to pack, as far as clothing goes, socks, bibs, He got the bows. happy bag. He got the happy bag. Yeah. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Okay, I got the bag as packed as I'm gonna get it. I got all of Luna's clothes packed. I just need two more outfits for Rory, which I think I'm gonna just let Dan choose. And otherwise, it's ready. Um, Rory's dressed. Sort of. <laughs> Sorry if this vlog has been a little bit chaotic, but that's just how it goes with prepping, you know? I have a lot more to go for mine. I'm thinking of wearing a sundress at least one of the days. I don't know. I'll see what ends up happening. Anyways, I have to get ready and get out of here, so maybe I'll catch you guys in a little bit. If not, then I will see you tomorrow. So we're pretty much ready to go. We've got Luna's clothes, Rory's clothes, my clothes. Our jackets, an extra pair of shoes for me and Dan, our toiletries. I have some activities for the kids for the ferry ride. I got a book, a coloring book, and then two board books as well as a little Spider-Man book. And then brought some markers and then crayons in case if this doesn't work out. Um, just to try to keep him entertained on that ferry because we have to sit for quite a while on there. So I think Dan is going to put these in his bag. We are out of space in the suitcase. On this side, I have a blanket for Luna, some shoes for Luna, diapers and wipes, and then Dan's clothes are under there. You can close it now. Oh, 
I did not think we would pack that much stuff, but somehow it happened. So there you go. And I'll hold it and then push it. I ended up taking all of the kids' clothes out of this bag. I'm using this bag for the camera, my laptop, mine and Rory's tablets, all the cords that I need. And then, of course, I can always use it as a diaper bag if I need to. I have some wipes in there still, but everything else is pretty much taken out. So that, oh, I have my glasses in here. I'm basically using this as my laptop bag right now because I need somewhere to put the camera that it won't get damaged. So that's why I did that switcheroo and I think it's gonna work out really good. It's a little tight, but I like how it turned out. And then we got some toys for the kids, just a little tiny backpack of toys for the kids. And this is my basically diaper bag right now. So I just have like two diapers and wipes in here. So I guess it's like a diaper clutch. So I got that and still have to pack the food. That's basically all I have left to pack. I'm not gonna lie, it's been kind of a rough morning. I mean, this is always what it's like when we're getting ready to travel. I'm really glad for what I did yesterday, but of course it was it's never enough. Until you get everything packed, it's never enough. Like when you work eight hour shifts, you can't, there's no way, there's nothing you can do. So it is what it is and we're pretty much ready. We got up about eight o'clock, 8.30, I'd say 8.30. I immediately got in the shower, got ready, got the kids ready, that took a while, and then we just started packing. And it's now 10.45, so we've been packing for almost two hours, which is basically what I predicted yesterday on camera. I said it would take three hours if I didn't prep ahead. Here we are, almost two hours later, we still aren't out the door yet. But, you know, I think we're doing fine. I just need to get the food packed, and then I think we can pretty much leave. We're all getting hangry over here. So I'm gonna pack up all of the food and then we're gonna skedaddle. Um, what? You are. You're hangry. This is my outfit. I got the shirt at Goodwill. I think I hauled it. And then I'm just wearing a light jacket. Are you angry? No, I'm not. <laughs> Let's take the camera. Hang on. Also have this case of applesauce for the kids. This is how it looks pretty much full. We got everything we need for probably a full day of eating. Okay, everything's packed. I ended up having to grab this bag because I didn't have anywhere to put my chips and stuff. Um, it's like a huge bag, but we'll just use this for garbage or whatever. When we have it, this one not so full, I'll just put everything else in that. But anyway, I think that we are all getting really restless and we're ready to go. Poor baby is probably at this point ready for a nap. It's only a matter of time before the tired cry starts. Our cat is itching to go outside, but she's got to stay in while we're gone. Oh, my God. 